good freaking morning on a beautiful day 142. Big wave training. It is stunning and kind of warm. Definitely soaking it in because it's supposed to rain all weekend. I have just been grinding away all morning. I'll get to my schedule here in a sec. I haven't updated yet and I got to get on the road actually. But I'm just here finishing up my site. Just got a bunch of assets loaded up. Everything's coming together <laughs> super good. I'm really excited. Like I feel good about this. I feel like I've really got something now. Like I put the work in, I'm ready to go start uh, pitching it out. We're gonna go meet up with Matter Hackers right now. One of the largest 3D printing supply uh, online stores in the world. So that's gonna be pretty sweet. <laughs> My little nerdy self is getting excited and I'm stoked to get this business off the ground and get it running so that I can continue creating surf content and traveling and making these and just showing life, yeah. Kind of crazy to think that I'm here. I think they're gonna hook me up with some filament, which would be pretty epic, so I can make these next few projects. All right, so I don't know what to expect. This is cool. <laughs> I've made it inside the Matter Hackers facility with Dave, one of the the originals. What's up, Dave from Matter Hackers? How you doing? <laughs> you might have seen him on YouTube, and yeah, we're in a, an engineer's playground. It's where we all dream about being. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fun. You want to check out 3D printers or anything really digital fabrication. So that includes CNC machines, laser cutters, 3D printing materials. We are a one-stop shop for all that stuff. Yeah, he makes some pretty epic products and they, they sell some rad stuff and plenty of printers and they even got fins over there. That's my project. He beat, me, my he beat me to it. project from... <laughs> I'm gonna guess, but it was like 2016, 2017, I 3D printed my own fins. Uh, and it was really fun, really cool to get like, for me, it was all about like, hey, I've heard all these like custom profiles for 3D printed fins and how they're good for you or best and most optimized, optimized for you. So I loved like testing out so many different fins. Fins are so expensive. So uh, 3D <laughs> printing them yourself, they're literally like 25 cents each print. print. <laughs> it's so, ridiculous. Uh, being able to do that was, was a really fun project. Uh, we did another project, which was like a collapsible surfboard, one that you could fold in half and travel with. Uh, my buddy Dylan did that. So those are all on the Matter Hackers YouTube channel. You can go find them. Yeah, check them out. But yeah, we can, uh, let's take a tour of this place and see what, see what else you guys oh, got going yeah. on. We'll buzz around real quick. So this is a place to see all the 3D printers and really like with a single 3D printer, um, as you guys know, because of all the cool stuff that's on this channel, <laughs> there's just a lot of different materials. PEI specifically is like a metal replacement plastic that you can print on these. Uh, you've also got nylons. Um, I think nylons are like one of the best, pro best materials you could choose for like robustness rigidity but still a little bit of flexibility and durability all like crazy engineering terms but really it's like <laughs> mechanical uh and material properties are, are are the way life goes around uh i also printed actual bike pedals for my mountain bike another case study we did with nylon x that we have yeah uh that was pretty cool we popped bearings in it and wow yeah, I, I went on a full riding ranch mountain bike ride it was, it was pretty rad I'll take you to our lab next. Yeah. To see some more cool machines. They've got this cool, if, if you 3D print stuff, you know exactly what we're about to show you. <laughs> this is cool. They had a pretty cool benchmark. <laughs> Another goal. It's like unlimited opportunities. I've never seen something like this. This is pretty epic. Oh, wow. wow. Uh, detail that are in all these things. <laughs> Wait, that's 22 RE. That's so sick. <laughs> magnetically <laughs> like attached and like what? the cams actually go up and down and stuff. It's this is their lab. And they've got lots of cool stuff. But if you 3D print, look at how big this thing is. Oh my gosh. Here's the normal size. Yeah, here's for yes. comparison. <laughs> what? It's like the standard test for when you get a new printer to figure out if it's calibrated and works right. Yeah. Challenging. Uh, the, other, the other one is Phil. I oh, designed yeah. Phil in SolidWorks. He's another like calibration print. The backpack angle is supposed to be like a little bit more challenging to print. There's also a couple giant Phil's around here. There's a big one up there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that thing's huge. <laughs> my entire life. One, two, three. As you can see, that meeting with Matter Hackers went pretty unreal. 
it's amazing to meet someone who runs such an incredibly successful business like Matter Hackers, who makes all kinds of different 3D printer filament and sells a crazy array of 3D printers with similar passions as me, like surfing and making cool stuff. He's actually done a handful of the projects that I've already done like a long time ago, back in the early stages of 3D printing. So it's it was really cool to like chat and, and talk about all of that because that's so rare to find somebody who has the same background in mechanical engineering, had a very similar upbringing, shares the same interests. He might not want to go and surf 50 foot waves, but like we can definitely go and surf together and he has a way more dynamic understanding of how 3D printing works and the different materials there are. And he's an expert, that's his field. So it was really cool for that. I think it's the start of an amazing partnership. So I'm really excited for that. He hooked me up with some filament and some shirts. Like, this is great. Like I couldn't, I didn't have any money for filament. <laughs> and now I have this filament and I can 3D print some fins and nylon X, which is amazing. I just got to Sir Coffee. I got a breakfast burrito. I'm gonna finish up my website right now. I gotta do a couple other things. I'm definitely going surfing again tonight. Yeah, let's get more to it. I'll show you guys the rest of my offer later this evening now that everything's pretty well finalized and situated. I gotta film a few things after this. I finally got my website up. Look at this, Beach Cowboy Creative. A couple videos. I got my, like a little portfolio here, nothing too crazy. And tomorrow, going on a mission. Gonna just see, I need to finish like my cold email sequence, and then later tonight. But beside, that's beside the point, all right? Beside the point. Matter Hackers hooked me up though. Thank you, Dave. Got some multicolored PLA. I've actually gotten to experiment with that kind of stuff before. It's pretty cool. Some white PETG, which is always good. Just like a good test material that's lime green. And then he gave me some black Nylon X, which is a 20% carbon fiber filled material. And then right now, I'm printing a fin with blue nylon G. So we'll see. I've never printed with nylon before, so that'll be pretty interesting. Right now, it's about 4.30. need a break from the computer, and I'm going to go down and watch the sunset and eat my... I'm actually going to skate down, and if there's waves, I'll go surfing. But if not, I'm going to come back and eat my papaya. I'm torn because I need to eat this papaya but it's also so pretty. There's kind of some waves. I mean, there's always waves for the soft top, don't get me wrong. I think I'm gonna come and eat the papaya because I kinda wanna just talk out my thoughts, if that makes sense. So you can hear me yap for a couple minutes. I haven't decided yet, we'll figure it out. Who am I kidding? Of course I'm going surfing. <laughs> This is gonna be the coldest one for sure. In a long time. Oh, the train. <sighs> yeah, it's cold. Well, it feels good. Come on. It's so pretty out here. Woo! Sketchy. pretty I'm not as cold as I thought I was gonna be either which is a bonus I've been working on a couple different things uh, at the moment so that I can spend tomorrow 
surfing in the morning, going around to a couple of businesses and, and seeing, gauging their interest in working with me. And I want to show you this because I think this is really important for people to see. So I get a lot of emails that are about like sponsorships and management or whatever. And it's funny because there's like, and this is something that I'm, I'm trying to explain. It's like, this is what I'm trying to learn now so that with my business, I, I don't do the same. I get an email from them and it's just super generic. Like they're offering to manage me, but they can't even put my put my real name in there. <laughs> they didn't even put my username in there actually. And it's just pretty obvious that it's generic, but they say that they're a boutique agency, which means that they don't manage a whole lot of creators. So you, you think about like, you know, maybe from, I don't know, even even from like IMG or something, like, I'd, I would expect at least my name. But that's just something that I see a lot in this industry that I would rather not emanate basically or kind of follow suit like you should always have their name it should always be personalized like I'm never I'm never gonna I'm, I'm not gonna work with these people because they, they didn't even put my name there <laughs> I've also got this printing I've gone through a couple different problems it's a new material I've never printed with nylon so I've, I've been upping the bed temperature a lot which has helped significantly so I should have one of those done probably around the time I go to sleep 